All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Stitch Tech. And this is a very, very special episode because I'm introducing a whole new series, guys. Oh, it's so exciting. So in this episode, I'm actually going to be saying thank you to finally allowing me to break 100 subscribers on YouTube. Super excited about that. Yeah, I did that. That was me. And as a thank you, I am going to be helping everyone get some free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? Yay, free stuff. Okay. So first of all, yeah, I was I was saying thank you for the wonderful 104 subscribers I have currently on Stitch Tech. OMG, was not anticipating this. I still need to get to 1,000 before I can even make any money from YouTube. You know, like my whole... 10 cents per million views or whatever it is these, these days. Um, but I don't do these for money. I do these for fun. And so let's get into the stuff that probably you only care about, which is the free stuff I'm promising. Okay, how do you get free stuff, Dylan? Well, we're going to get free stuff from Microsoft. Microsoft Bing, to be exact. You might not know this because you probably use Google like normal users, but Bing is the technically third largest search engine, um, second if you don't include YouTube, but Google includes YouTube, or I'm sorry, Alphabet includes YouTube, um, second to Google, because you know, when you own them, you kind of want to own the top two search engines. But yeah, Bing is the second or third, depending on how you qualify it. And if you look here, you can get little points for using Bing. Look at that. 150 points for using a desktop browser and uh, 100 points for mobile. Bonus points if you actually use Edge. Um, and so, yeah, you can get these daily maximums on points just for, for each search term. I think it's five points per search term, so 30 search terms you, uh, or search queries on on desktop and 120 uh, search queries on mobile, and then an extra four for using Edge. Um, plus, they have bonus activities you can use to get extra points. And when you reach little milestones, Microsoft will reward you. You can redeem your points like I have. And if you do it real well, about once a month, you can get like me and get like a $10 Amazon gift card. $120 for Amazon gift cards a year? Why not? For doing what? For using a search engine. How hard is that? Okay, Dylan, but how does this play into your new series that you're introducing? I'm glad you asked. The new series I'm introducing is Shortcut It Out. Oh, yeah. It's, it's super exciting, guys. I'm super excited. Shortcut It Out with Stitch Tech is going to be going over all the wonderful things you can do with Siri Shortcuts, the Shortcuts app on the Apple ecosystem. Sorry if you do not have any Apple device, this doesn't really apply to you. Um, the little tidbit on the free stuff with Microsoft, you can use any device for that. But we're gonna go into this series and dive into automations. Oh, love automations. Making life easier everywhere you go. So yeah, first episode, just to give you an idea of how we can automate your life and make it better, is how to utilize it to get free stuff automatically. Oh, please go on, Dylan. I'm super excited for this. Oh, well, then let's continue. We're going to start our first shortcut here by hitting the little plus sign. And we're going to name this shortcut up here. I'm running iPad OS 16, so it might be a little look, look a little different to you currently. But I'm going to rename this my free stuff. Shortcut. I'll just name it free, I guess. And you can add a little icon, green for money. And get the little money symbol. That's monkey. Where's the money symbol? Huh. There we go. Dollar. They need to update those. So, first thing over here, let's search our uh, actions. And we're going to do a simple repeat action. Since the maximum you can do on your desktop is going to be 30 queries a day, and so you can run this on both your iPad for desktop or your Mac for desktop, and then you can also run it for your um, on your phone, it'll just have more tabs. And I'll show you some tricks too so you don't have a million tabs open on your devices. Um, 
So essentially, yeah, have a repeat, run it 30, 30 or more times, um, less if you want to add some creativity to it later, which I'll show you. Then we're going to get a random number, do, 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 between a tiny number, like tiny, and a big number, like big. And then you're going to search for the action of search. Search web. There you go. Let's search the web. And we're going to select Bing as our search engine because that's the one that pays us to use them. It's not bribery, you know. It's just, you know, you know, I don't know what you would call it, but it's not bribery, guys. And I'm definitely certain that I do not know whether this is okay with Microsoft or not. They're probably not happy about this and me telling you about this, but I don't read their user agreements, neither does anyone else, so if they really wanna fight you on it, I don't think that's gonna be you good you know, user retention. We'll see. Anyways, continuing on. This is really all you need to do. You have 30 times, repeat a number, it'll search Bing, and then you hit play the first time, it'll ask for permission, and you're off to the races. Look at that, look at that. 30 tabs of random generated numbers, all unique search queries, all contributing to your daily point allotment. And that's, congratulations, you got all your points right there just by clicking a button. You don't even have to have Bing as your default browser. Um, you could get more fun with it if you wanted to, if you're like into education like me. You could, let's say, do, 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 wanted to learn something. Well, let's go ahead and duplicate the search function here. We're gonna add this and drag it out of our loop. And we're gonna search Bing for, let's say, clear the variable, word of the day. That's educational, yay, word of the day. And let's do something else. Let's do, duplicate this again, let's search Bing for, I don't know, what is um, today in History. Let's do that. Okay. And since you have two other things that are actually educating educating you, you can take this counter and put it down by two and then run it again. And the nice thing about that is the very last two tabs that will open will be the ones you actually want to read, like the Today in History. Let's see. Ooh, Little Nas X. Good for him. When they broke and changed country music forever. And then, let's see, where the day? Parsimonious, just to verify that. Parsimonious. Nailed it. Awesome. Okay. But Dylan, now I have all these tabs open. What am I going to do? Oh, man, i got to close all these tabs individually? <laughs> nah. It's awesome. There's, uh, there's these little shortcuts you can do. I'm not sure if you realized. If you actually tap and hold on an iOS device or uh, right-click on a Mac, you can actually hit Close Other Tabs. <gasps> Magic! Oh, love it. And congratulations, you have your shortcut now. To make it easy on you, you can uh, choose different actions for automating this. You can run this at certain times of the day when you do certain actions. Uh, let's see here. You can put it on your Mac. You can put it in the menu bar or use it as a right-click quick action. Um, there's so many ways you can do with these, but we're gonna get into all the fun ways you can utilize um, the Shortcuts app through this series. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you look forward to my new series coming out of uh, Shortcut It Out. And uh, yeah, start getting some free stuff, guys. Free stuff's awesome. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and staying loyal um, through thick and thin. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, look forward to our, our future videos. And uh, check out my website. I got other social platforms if you feel like uh, following me on there. And I'll probably be updating my website with these new content as well soon. So... Thanks, everyone. I think that's it. Have a great day. Enjoy this uh, first shortcut and look forward to little future nuggets. Drop down in the comments what you think of the name, if you have other ideas for different shortcuts you would like, um, and we'll go from there. Bye, guys.